Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe. I'm gonna jump in again and I'm feeling a modded character today so maybe we'll do Mammon. It's been a little while since we did Mammon. Let's give that a go. It's been a little while since we did Mammon uh, and he, he's definitely a lot better since he had his changes to him. We'll pop that down right there now. Uh, but yeah, since he got the changes to himself uh, with, with like his payout rates from the little mammon dudes. He's been a lot, lot better, I think. Um, and I just genuinely, I, I quite like this character as a concept when he works in your favor. Now, that isn't always the case, but when he does, he is fun. Um, we'll see what we can get done. I'm on my recordathon at the minute since I'm a third Isaac of the day, so my questions of the day are maybe a little lacking. Apologies in advance. <laughs> uh, see, that's what I mean. Like, before you'd get like two flies, now you actually get like basically a whole room's worth of killing potential you can like destroy a whole room with what you get um we get some extra money here of course i genuinely don't know what just happened where did that bad trip come from is that new that might be something new unfortunately thus far he has paid out with only flies and spiders which isn't ideal um, yeah, I genuinely don't know what happened with that bad trip. That was, that was strange. That's something maybe new. But I guess we'll just take it and move on and see what's what. Um. Hmm. What's a location that you think is really sort of beautiful or picturesque, but you'd probably likely never get to visit? What's a location you'd really want to go, but you doubt you'll ever get to? I think that could be interesting. Um, I, I don't know if I'd never get to go, but there's definitely a lot of areas in, like, Japan and stuff that I'd really like to see. I just don't... It's just obviously expensive and far out. And, like, I think if I'm going to go on, like, a big holiday that's far away and expensive, I'm pro... Oh, my God. I'm probably going to go to, like, New Zealand or something like that. Um, I mean, New Zealand is just beautiful anyways but then also my friend never named is there uh I'd, I'd really like to meet up with him if i ever could uh, i'll go grab that hp probably um and just generally i think it would be uh, a really really nice place to go because it's basically like australia without as many of the scary animals <laughs> and creatures and i think that's 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 quite appealing not not that australia is like if you go there you'll die sort of thing obviously plenty of people live there and it's complete it's completely fine but just the chances. <laughs> the chances are there. Unfortunately, we did not get a payout from our piggy boy thus far this floor. Unfortunately as well, one, one thing with this character is your entire success of your run kind of lies in the balance of how lucky you get with enemies dropping coins on death. If you get like two or three a room, you're absolutely fine. But sometimes you get situations like this where you do two or three rooms in a row and you get like one or two coins. Like you got none from this room and it just... It makes things a lot more difficult. When you get any bombs as well, I might even restart. Do you know what? I'm going to restart the first floor. I know that that's, like, not exactly the most fun, but um, I'd, I I, th I think that if you're not getting any item on your first floor, you're probably going to be in a bit of a bad situation. Um, so let's see what goes on here. If I take this... Okay, I didn't use a pill that time, so I really don't know what happened with that pill before. And we do actually have uh, a pretty decent item there that we can probably just buy rather than using our... Uh, a piggy friend. Of course, we'll still pop our active item anyways. But um, I, I genuinely think I might just buy the uh, the beard. Let's get you guys over here. Lovely stuff. Unfortunately, if these guys drop coins, I'm probably not going to be able to get them. Unless the... Nope. I was going to say, unless the bomb moves them across, but it didn't. Dude, really? God damn it, I got two extra coins in this room, which would have been enough to buy my item. And, oh, there you go. <laughs> I don't feel so bad now. I don't feel so bad. Right, let's go and buy the uh, the beard, because I think the beard is a pretty good item. Um, It's basically... Morbid has a slightly higher chance to appear. I didn't know it did that. I did not know it did that. But, um, oh, I really like that with this character. Um, es Essentially, it's just uh, Mum's wig, but a bit better, I think. Uh, it's just a different type of sort of spider sort of thing that's dropping on you. Yeah, you can see the little, I think they're called scuzzits or something like that. The little jumpy spiders. Unfortunately, this is actually a really rough room. Because I've got to deal with the poison, uh, poison, the creep from the uh, pots as well as the little shots that these guys shoot. Yeah, it isn't too appetizing to me. 
we got there in the end. Good, good. And then, yeah, if we end up getting any more money, we can uh, we can use it to pay into our, our beggar here. But at least we got an item thus far. That's rather nice. Got some money there. I'll hold up for now. Oh, this guy's firing with me as well, of course. Lovely. I kind of didn't expect that for a second. But, yeah, you can see the amount of spiders, little scuzzit boys, that we're, that we're getting on our little adventure here. They'll be helping us quite a bit. Oh, really? You drop a penny on top of the creep where I can't goddamn get it. You evil game, you evil. Grab that. And I honestly I'm not super intrigued by uh spending money on this guy on this floor. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bomb him, see what I get. Um we got a bunch of mini capsules, which isn't great. Um we'll just go to the next floor. Mini capsules are, are only last for the floor that you're on. You don't get the uh the star upgrades permanently. So not quite as good, but still, eh, what they are what they are. He did used to drop a, a guaranteed stack capsule every time, but that was a bit strong. Anyways, we can use Meat Grinder on this floor now that we're uh, going to have some more money and stuff. We really should be placing it where secret rooms can spawn and stuff so that we can get some extra value and we do blow them up. Managed to get the pennies. Sam, all oh, the pennies are, are coming in hot and fast here. All right, we'll go... Two uses of this guy. Hey, we've got an item straight away that time. Welding sack, not the best item ever, but it is an item nonetheless. And it does give us some bombs to work with too, which is rather nice for blowing up the other beggars that we end up creating. Not so bad. Still want to know what happened with that goddamn bad trip pill. That was very peculiar. Okay, we do have a good bit of money now. Obviously, we have to wait until we've uh, recharged our active to spend more money on our piggy friends. So we'll see when that happens. But yeah, I think this character's definitely formed from, formed from like what I'd say is a pretty bad character with a pretty underwhelming gimmick to one where the gimmick actually makes a lot of sense and it is actually sort of worth using. Um, which is, is, is a really good thing. It's... Oh, God. Unfortunately, a lot of uh, pennies I can't get there regardless. And a hit I shouldn't have taken. It is what it is. It is what it is. I've been spending uh, part of today um, prepping for my next D&D &D session. So I've got D&D &D on Friday. Um, for those of you that don't, that's Dungeons and Dragons, but I'm sure all of you do. Um, but anyways, prepping for my next D&D &D session that is um, coming up on um, coming up on Friday. And shall I, shall I use my active after this room? Yeah, I will do. Um... Yeah, and, and basically, our DM has just said, hey, uh, we've leveled up to level 2 in the last session, so he's like, hey, write down all your level 2 upgrades, and then also, ooh, we got ourselves, um, on use hold to throw a projectile, press forward, if it hits a monster, it becomes permanently charmed, okay, pretty good, um, and he also said, think about your level 3 stuff, and I'm a warlock, and in D&D, &D, like, level 2 and level 3 have big implications, because at level 2, you get some invocations, which are essentially, like, extra passive abilities um, that only warlocks can get. And then at level 3, you get your your pact boon, which is basically, like, which way, sort of which which power your warlock leans towards. So I've picked um, Pact of the Term, which allows, us, allows me to get some extra cantrip spells, which are essentially spells that don't use slots. Um, and that means that I can get some really cool stuff going on. I've, I've kind of gone for, like, a, a very heavy illusion-based, um, warlock. So I've got, like, silent image, um, silent image, minor illusion, and I can't remember what the other one's called now. It's got a really weird long name. Um, prestigita prestigitation. And then I've also got the spell suggestion, which basically just allows me to create a bunch of images to fool people and stuff. It's it might mean, mean nothing to some of you that don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but I think it's cool. What what is this bullshit exactly? This is <laughs> this is silly, right? Spawn a glitched item. Okay. Isaac, this is downright silly. Isaac, this is downright silly. How come I don't get to know what this one does? Cat teaser. I will buy the single penny. <laughs> is there any way I can get get these? Nah. That's funny. Isaac, this is downright silly. <laughs> That's so funny. Right, anyways. Um, 
I have literally no idea what my uh, what my glitched item does, and I'm, I'm sure at some point we will find out. I ate my monster candy. I don't really know what that means for me. Oh, you big old bitch. Oh, the stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so we found out what happens uh, with our item. Apparently, when we get hit by an enemy, we have a small chance to lob out a fuckload of bombs. That's fun. Um, th there's too many bubbles in this room. This room is too damn soapy. These enemies have so much HP to- How the fuck am I meant to not get hit here? This is too many fucking bubbles, game. This is too many bubbles. How is one man meant to deal with this many fucking bubbles? Sentences I didn't think I'd be saying today. God damn, that room was awful. Really? That didn't fucking hit? This monster thing's trash. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I found I kind of forgot that hits you when you use it. Oops. So that, that, that might not be the only thing that a glitched item does, by the way. I'm really confused, though, how sometimes glitched items have EID descriptions and other times they don't. Is that like a setting that I have enabled on one save file and not the other or something? Let me, let me check that out. Um... What would that be? Would it be on the C? Um, no. L? EID. General. Display. No. Unless I'm not seeing it. Visuals, reminder, crafting, reminder. Sure, R and D, R and G. Sure, hidden information. Items like 404 or Rainbow Worm can have their current granted item revealed in the item reminder. Some items can have their next random result predicted. That seems useful. I'll turn that on. What? I, it's definitely in here somewhere, but I don't know where. Bear with me. Repentagon. Where the hell is it? Crafting? No. Reminder. Visual? Is it on visual? I don't... I don't know where it is. There's definitely something in here. A glitched item display or something. God damn it. General, maybe? Um, I genuinely don't know. It's somewhere in here, and I'm sure someone in the comments will be able to tell me. But I just, I just don't know where it is. Um, glitched item infos. There you go. Cool. Cool, we did it. Apparently that's enabled on one so far, but not the other, which makes things slightly confusing. Thank you for my flies and spiders, which, oh my lord, may be a mistake right now. I'm so fucked. Oh my lord. I'm unsure what happened there, but I didn't die, <laughs> which is intriguing, <laughs> to say the least. I'm not entirely sure why I didn't die, but, um... I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on. So let me let me let me see. Okay, getting hit just does it it doesn't always happen because it didn't happen there. Okay, it happened there. I think when bombs explode I heal, which is kind of insane. Let, let me let me try that out. No, that's not the case. Maybe if I get hit by my own bombs explosion I heal. I healed at the end of the room. That might be unrelated, though. I'm very unsure as to what's going on right now. I'll be honest, I'm very unsure. What happens if I sack room? Not much. Okay, I'm going to have to... 
play around with shit to find out what's going on here. Right. Hit by my bomb's explosion. That did not heal me. We got fat odd mushroom. That's good. We also got some, some rat stuff going on here for 99 cents or 98 cents, was it? No, thank you. I'm okay. No, what? This active item's bullshit. So no healing there. It was all very confusing. It's all very, very confusing, right. What up, buddy? It'll help us out for the boss fight at least, I guess. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on. We've we've picked up a glitched item which is doing some shenanigans. It it, it exists. It is here to stay. But we unfortunately for right now can't see what it does. Oh my lord, that was quite the jump, good sir. Oh my god, I was only halfway done. So in that scenario, I did heal, but not as much. <laughs> this is getting, yeah, this is getting very confusing. <laughs> uh, can I die? <laughs> is the question. Can I die? Because so far we seem to have cheated death a good few times. It's all, it's all a mystery. It's all up in the air, but we will continue on. Oh, what the? Why did that downgrade you? Is that meant to downgrade you? Are you now charmed? Confused. Okay. He is now charmed. Ooh, lots of pennies for us right now. Lots of pennies for us. Holy damn, that was lucky. I kind of forgot the nickels could even drop it. It had been so long since I've seen one. Cool. What's a little goobers about? As if that hit me. My god. The angel deal is uh is gone from this world right now. I'm not sure look. Frail fly. I feel like I get frail fry frail fly and bed fly or bed bug, whatever it's called, like very often. Do seem to be doing good damage at the moment, though, which is rather nice. Still unsure what to expect of anything, really. Should probably check my shop. I love this trinket, so good. Hey, there's one of the extra chances for morbid hearts. I like that. Thank you, thank you. This charm guy is lasting a while. Why is that not hitting things? God damn it, it's so hard to hit. Glitched heart there. Extra black heart. Right, what you got for us this time? Little buddy. Ah, uh, rupture. Not bad, not bad. Where are we actually meant to be going here? Boss rush and hush is, is is an option, but I'm a little bit late to be honest. I think. Jump into the fire. I'll try and go a little bit quicker if I can, but no promises. No promises at all. I also want to try and use this a little more, but it just misses all the goddamn time. Our damage feels really good right now. I right, keep going with this guy. Managed to kill everything. Oh, my buddy's finally gone. No. How I shall miss you. Ooh, that fire was very nice. We actually got an angel deal on a very, very low chance, my god. I kind of forgot this is how these guys worked. I mean, luckily he paid out pretty quick, so that's fine. And so did you. That's a much better item for me, thank you. Can't remember which one of these is best. This one, I'm pretty sure, is the best. 
Herming is just good. Bursts of shots, but they're herming. I like it. Weaker damage, obviously, but... Much higher fire rate in general, I think. Overall, herming soy milk is, is the way to go. It's not even quite soy milk either. We have slightly higher damage than we would do with soy milk. I'm going to try them all out though and see which one feels the best. Ow. Oh my god, I'm getting hit a lot right now. It's kind of a gross room, I'll be honest. Not not just because there's poop everywhere. I just don't like it. I'm just simply not a fan. We're also stunning enemies quite heavily as well, which is nice. Just a lot of bombs for an unknown reason. <laughs> And we're healing half hearts randomly as well. This glitched item's wild, man. Glitched item is strange. It's weird fire firing these bursts like this. We should probably meat grind as well. Wow. That tears up's really gonna make the difference. I don't know, this version might be the best. Like, the weird sort of triple shot we got going on here. Just hard to tell with that tier size, but I think this we're doing the most damage. Just obviously we don't get herming with this, so it doesn't feel quite as good. Get out your pipe, you. Ha ha, the fire got you. We are trying to go somewhat speedily here, so I'm going to be skipping some rooms here and there. I don't want to, uh... I don't want to waste too much time that I don't have. Oh, the fires are nice. 33% chance seems to be procking a good amount. It seems to be procking around 33% of the time, believe it or not. It's kind of wild when you think about it. Oh, lovely. The double hit. But then we gain a soul heart at the end of the room. It's just... It's all a bit confusing, I'll be honest. It's all a bit confusing. We'll wait until we've got my money to use our active more, because it just means backtracking at the moment. We don't want to do that. We've not seen our item room this floor. Although the item room is just money, so I don't really give a shit. I can get money anywhere. Can, can you not do this attack, please, where I basically can't shoot you for a while? Thank you. That's a lot of bombs, good sir. And we gain a half soul at the end of that room. And then we've got three minutes to make it to boss rush. It should be more than enough time. Should be more than enough time. Right, let's keep it going. Wait until we get to like 15 cent before we pop our active again. Just so we don't have to move a lot. The amount of bombs is very, sort of, concerning as well. Sometimes it's like two, other times it's like an entire room full. And I don't know what has any bearing on how many bombs spawn. It seems completely arbitrary. That's a lot of money that I want. See now, this is where we use Meat Grinder because it makes sense. We get ourselves Astral Projection, I kind of like that. And we get ourselves King Worm, which unfortunately I don't like that. I'm sorry, King Worm, but I just have no use for you. It's kind of good on some characters, like the uh, Forgotten, so I've been told, but for me right now, I don't think it does much. We're on 18 minutes at the moment. I should check out the shop just in case there's anything amazing. Deep Pockets is probably pretty good. I'll buy the HP as well, actually. Deep Pockets could allow us to keep gaining money for our active constantly. Even without the kills. A 
some pennies that just aren't worth the risk. And I want to be in there before 19 minutes. I'm rushing past some chests and stuff that I should be getting otherwise. I apologize to all of those that are bothered by that. But I have limited time. I'm not even really that prepared to do a boss rush, but I just want the option to, you know? An item in there might be amazing. Quickly check this out. I will take both of these. I don't know what Blazing Beak does. Are the fucking both active items? On death, enemies re drop cursed trinkets with negative effects. Cursed trinkets are auto smelted on pickup. On use, deals bonfire damage and sells every cursed trinket you earn. Could be interesting. I'm going to try that out. Mate, this game's fucking bullshit. <laughs> this game's fucking bullshit. <laughs> Why? With all the goddamn actives, man. I like the flight. So yeah, on death, enemies will randomly... Oh, that's a lot of money. Enemies will randomly give me... Uh... Trinkets like the tainted version of this big boy. Kind of funny how I got like the tainted mechanic of Mammon on Mammon. <laughs> but I was thinking it's like a cool way to be able to pick up a bunch of these these cursed trinkets and sell them for extra money to be able to then use my actual active to gain items, right? That seems like a fun little sort of give and take. This would be a lot more depressing if I didn't currently have... Oh my lord. A lot more depressing if I didn't currently have this uh, this card. The card is making it way more tolerable. I think... I think when I get hit, it turns all the projectiles currently in the air into bombs. I think that's what happens. Right. Oh, what the hell? I'll take it. I don't know what a lot of these these uh, trinkets even do. I think Curse the Blind is is hiding some of them um, as on top of that. Because at the minute I'm just drifting very slowly. You just you just blew up my mate. <laughs> you dick. I was using him. I was planning on using him at least. You dick. Sit him down there where he's not going to get hurt. I'm finally going to just stacking a few of them up and then, like, spending all of them. Can you get away from him? He's just trying to chill out. My our damage is really good. Yeah, it is definitely something to do with our projectiles. I certainly don't mind that. Do all bosses guaranteed drop a penny? It's certainly seeming that way. Not exactly the best reward ever, but it's nice, I guess. Is that why, like, all the, the, the worm-based bosses, the segmented bosses, drop an absolute shit ton of money? Huzzah. Wait, where's, where's your friend? Ah. Wait, what? I'm very confused. Where are you? There's another one in here somewhere. Oh, he's there. He's just bouncing on top of him. You fucked up. Oh, yes, you did. You fucked up. Oh, God, it's the fast boys. God damn it. Get out of here with your speed. They're not lighting the queen. Oh, 
Right, it's climbing the walls now. Got a trinket from that guy. No bombs. Don't get near him. I've not been using my meat grinder anywhere near enough. It is a shame. Oh, it's Soy Reap Creep. Not moving away from me, boy. Stop! Making it harder than it has to be. Goddamn. This triple shot thing is... Oh, dude! They destroyed him again! What the fuck keeps happening? Where are my bros? <laughs> Who the fuck killed them? Was it me? Did I accidentally spawn a bomb on them? God damn it, I'm trying to keep them safe so I can use them later on. It's clearly not working. Yeah, it's over now, you dick. Right. Unfortunately, we're not able to get our items there and then, but try on the next floor, I guess. Oh no, no more triple shot. I'm sad. George, this guy just eat all of my money in one go. Nah, there you go. He actually gave me an item. And it's a pretty goddamn good one as well. Now, remember, we'll be seeing uh, cursed trinkets appear on occasion. Should we want to sell them, we just have to press our space bar. Deep pockets will also be providing us with money here and there as well. We've got a lot of avenues for money at the moment. It's nice. Got a lot of avenues for money. Unfortunately, I've got a very, very bad itch on the underside of my legs, so give me a moment. I love my little my little hoppity hippity hoppity spider boys for Sean. Unfortunately not not too many cursed trinkets. Okay. I had six broken hearts. I don't think I'll be taking that one, thank you. Six broken hearts, no thanks. Good. More HP, lovely. And we got... Tears fire slightly wonky, I'll take it. It's actually probably preferable for us right now. Pop this guy down. Extra damage, lovely. Meat cleaver, unfortunately, not very good for us. Real pedestals into devil deal items. I will hold on to that. In fact, I could re-roll. I probably should re-roll. Oh my lord. Astral projection's making that a bit weird. Meat cleaver. Why not? Yeah, why not? Why not take pet peeve? Um, Literally no idea what hit me there. Absolutely no idea what hit me there. It is confusing. It's something to do with the stick drift making me get hit. I don't like that these little rupture hearts leave uh, red creep on the ground. It's confusing me. Where's my free soul hearts gone? I was getting them like every room before. Now nothing. Oh my god. I guess I'll take a rotten heart to fill that hole. Boomerang's going around. We do need to do Hush as well if we can make it, so let's try and speed up a little bit. My god, I'm taking some bad damage at the moment. Good old cube of meat. So many stat capsules, my god.
Oh, Sir Junkin! Spawns a familiar that pursues enemies and does contact damage. You can blow up items with bombs, collecting the junk that comes out, upgrade your familiar, kicks him seven junk, gives him flight, and lets him fire spectral herming tears at the nearest enemy. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. I've not had this guy yet. This is the first time I've had him. So I can bomb items. I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to get the opportunity to bomb enough items to make this guy work, to be honest, but we'll see. We shall see. But yeah, very, very few cursed trinkets so far. Very few cursed trinkets. I was kind of hoping that this item would make them, like, somewhat co I won't say common, but, like, getting, like, one every couple of rooms sort of thing, not one a floor. At the minute, I literally only have two. Oh, god damn it. I'll crack this up and see what we get. Look how small little Junkin is. It's cute. Wow. That was quite a bit of extra money. We've had money flowing at the moment. I guess we could see if we could get a devil deal to then pay out with devil deal items. One second. Sorry about that. Let's continue on. Yeah, I'm going to say, um... Oh, wait a minute. Can we bomb into here? This looks bombable. Lovely stuff. Wasn't expecting you, but there you go. Hey, there's another one. Hearts can only be picked up and tend to heal through any other means will fail. Health can... Okay, so let, let's pick this up and then let's pop this. And it sells them. Eh, it's fine. Oh, he was spawned a boss, so I can't get into the goddamn thingy room. So annoying. There's a mod that fixes that, but I've not got it on at the minute. I mean, literally, this is a freebie in terms of spawning one of these guys, so... Oh, look! A very bombable item. Hehehe. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay, so I, m I might be able to get seven. I might be able to get seven if it gives me enough items I don't want. Oh shit, I kind of forgot I have to kill this guy as well. Oops. Like, if this guy pays out with another item I don't want, I can bomb it like a dead bird. Oh, pet peeve, can you fuck off? Giant ball sack. Why would you do that? <laughs> Wasted one of my precious bombs. I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. Trinket over there. I, I, I want to see if bombing them does anything, but I very highly doubt it will. But they don't count as items. They're definitely trinkets. So I wouldn't imagine it would do anything, but I need to know. We've got up to level 3 already, which I like. Two bad items in a row is, is pretty lucky in terms of having junk and otherwise pretty unlucky. Yeah, I've only got four bombs though. Let's not let's not bother wasting them. We're on thirty minutes, unfortunately, so we've missed we've missed hush. I kind of didn't really pay attention to that after Junkin arrived. I'll be honest, I kind of forgot about boss rush, hush, timer, whatever. My bad, I guess. More range. Little Dumpy, little Dumpy, you are great, but you know, you know I've got to, you know I've got to give him life, give him sustenance. We cannot let him go without. He has a little sword now, I mean, come on now. You can't not love that. You just can't not love that. I mean, I'm going to try and charge up my, uh, come on now, game. Oh, that's my burn heart. God damn it. Charge up my active again if I can. Yeah, this this, this active, this uh, Curse Trinket one, at least with my current look, is big, big poo-poo. Like, it just, it just seems useless. You get so few Curse Trinkets that it makes little to no difference to your run.
Unfortunately, we did not get to do Hush, but we'll soldier on. We got one more room we can do in this floor? Unfortunately not. I guess the boss counts the... Yeah, I'm gonna say, this this active seems seems really stinky. Really doesn't seem to help. Which is a shame, because that's the potential to be so cool. Pet peeve, if you could just, like, actually attack the enemy, that'd be great. Ooh, reworked furs is causing errors. Hmm, not seen that error before. I really like the fact that it tells you when something's caused an error now. Super useful to know. And there you go. All right, we can we can come in here. Um, I can't sell the items in there, so I'm gonna do it out here instead. Brainworm, I think I'll take that. I'm sorry, but it's gotta be done. How does this work again? On use with the spawn, collectible black art cards or spiders based on luck. Chance scales with luck. Um, okay, that's kind of good. I think we'll take that then. We'll bomb that. I think we're up to six now, aren't we? Something like that. It's a whole half of those guys at the moment. Maybe not the greatest idea. Hey, black art there, lovely. Right, to the next floor. Okay, I think I think we're one item off, you know. I think we're one item away. Maybe two, but it looks like one. Not like the uh, prospects of that room. Yeah, I'm not waiting on policies to do their business to continue on in this room. I'm making my own plans, boy. Just get Meat Grinder powered up. Should probably grab that as well. I at least want to see Junkin fully empowered for the last floor. Ow. Look at him doing his little spinnies. I wonder if, uh, in, in actual Gungeon, he, at, his, at the level just below max level, he can revive you if, he di if you die. I wonder if he retains that ability in this as well. That'd be really cool if he does. This is a really, really, really good take on Junkin in um, in Isaac. I think it's a really good way to transfer him over in a fun and interesting way. I really hope he is insanely powerful once you get him max rank, though. Like, in Gungeon, he, he is like, he can win you the run. To the point where the end screen actually just has Junkin in it instead. Oh, wait, I'm out of money? Bollocks. Ah, no. I didn't think about that. I spent all my money on the devil deals. Hopefully I can get enough money to uh, make that guy pay out. Well, that's five. Yes, baby. Baron Fly. Yet another very, very common one for me. Is this your last piece of junk? No. Second to last, I think. That looks like second to last. Although he does have flight. We'll see if he fires spectral shots. He's not shooting at the moment, so I suspect he's one off max. This is the one in Gungeon where he can revive you. This is the level where he can revive you. I accidentally blew that up. I didn't even mean to. Yes! We got him to max, baby. I didn't even mean to blow up small rock there. Do my bidding, you glorious bastard. Let's see how much damage he does on his own. Pretty respectable. That's a boss. He's not like... I wouldn't say he's like completely killing it on his own, but... He's doing a pretty good amount of damage. I'd say he's an asset to the team, certainly.
I mean, yeah, he seems great. Seems like an absolute G. <sighs> Amazing stuff. We will grab that. And that. I mean, I'm going to bomb these to see if getting any additional junk does anything. Because in Gungeon it doesn't. But I'm wondering if in this game it does give him, like, a damage. Because one thing I've always, like, sort of not liked in Gungeon is once you get into max rank, every further junk doesn't do anything. And I wish it just gave him, like, a little bit of extra movement speed or a little bit of damage or just something to make it worth grabbing extra junk if you want to do a full junk run. And I'm not expecting that to change in this game, but it would be cool. You can see as well that they're piercing. Ah, yes. The firecracker flower. Doing nothing. As it always does. It's such a cool item that is held back by its ridiculous amount of charge time required. Meaning it's basically only useful on endgame bosses. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> it just never sees the light of day. I just think it needs to do something to enemies that it sticks to. It might, it might now. They might have changed it, but I don't, I don't know of anything that they changed. But if it hasn't, I just wish it did something, like, during the charge-up time. Just to make it, like, set the enemy on fire or something when it hits them. Just to make it a little more valuable on enemies it doesn't detonate on. Goddamn, I know I'm losing luck to use this, but still. Get me the hell out of there. Enjoyable boss to fight here. I'm not even know I'm not even aware of what hits me most of these times. Must be one of those ghosties. Let me out. Let me out. Teleport me back. There's a half soul heart there. I need that. I basically just I could I could just stick a firecracker flower to every enemy and then run away. Hey, that one did something. There's one one on you. That seed gonna explode at any point? Is it not really on you? I don't I don't know what's going on there. I guess it just didn't feel like exploding. But not. Nah, sometimes I'm like, how do I get hit? And that time I literally just face tanked an entire shot and took no damage. Game okay, makes no sense. Let's see if we can get another item out of this guy. Oh, slick spade, lovely. What a good little item to add to our repertoire. What in the fuck? What kind of room was that? Oh, cute baby, hell yeah. Add him into the mix. One thing, one one suggestion, one suggestion is in Enter the Gungeon, Junkin, as well as some other familiars like R2G2, do take on your bullet effects. So maybe it'd be cool if little Junkin here took on my Tech Zero and such. Maybe that'd be a bit strong, but it would be in in fitting, in theme, with what happens in Gungeon, so... A little something to think about. A little something to think about. I've had a pretty cool idea that I can do for the thumbnail of this episode. And I'm gonna do it, if I remember. <laughs> Slash have time. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Pretty fun run with a little junk in there. And I'll see you guys next one.